Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Evergreen Networking Strategy Session. We're going to be talking about how to leverage LinkedIn. Now, there's, there's a lot of different ways to use LinkedIn in today's day and age. And one of the things that I've been teaching for the past several years is to have a strategy because the right strategy will save you a decade. Most okay. people are just doing activity. And activity without strategy is a total waste of time. So I want to encourage you to really think about what is your strategy? Now, tonight is Rosh Hashanah. It's the new year. And always before I start a new year, I always like to think about how is my next year going to be better than my previous year? What am I going to do different? Somebody recently said, Joe, I'm not getting results from LinkedIn. And I said, are you lurking or are you influencing? Like, where are you on the ladder of success? And by the way, guys, in the chat, let me know where are you right now on the ladder of success? Are you absent, lurker, networker, or are you influencer? Absent means... Thank you. Absent means that you have a profile, but you don't log in. Lurker means that you are actively logging in, but you're not really, you don't really have a strategy. You're not really taking all the right actions. If you're a networker, that means you're taking some actions, but you're not consistent. You're more dabbling. And if you're an influencer, that means you're taking all the right actions and you're getting results. So where are you on the ladder of success? I'm going to check the the chat right now just to kind of see hello from New Jersey, lurker, <laughs> networker, influencer, networker. So a lot of people are taking some action, but they're not consistent. And it's usually because they're not part of like, they don't have an accountability partner or they don't have a regular heartbeat of them checking in with someone to kind of teach them strategies and someone to work together with them, like having that accountability group to work together. This is the nine step process that I walk people through when I teach people how to use LinkedIn. The people that are getting results follow this process. Okay, so step number one is making sure you have a plan. What is your plan? What is your outcome? What would you like to achieve? How much revenue do you want to generate? How many clients do you need? How many conversations are you going to have? What are you actually going to be doing on LinkedIn? What is the plan? Then who are the people that you're targeting? If you're just, there's a billion people on LinkedIn. If you're targeting everybody, you're not targeting anybody. What is the message that you need to send those people? You can't even create your messaging. If you're creating messaging to everybody, you're not resonating with anybody. Okay, so I need you to make sure that you have the right branding, which is the right plan, the right people, the right promise. Once you have a good foundation for you to be successful on LinkedIn, then you need to move on to making sure you're telling stories. You have the right presence. Your profile is optimized. And then you have the right automation tools. You have the right technology stack that you're working with to support you, whether it's using a CRM, whether it's using AI tools, whether it's using automation to be consistent. And I'm going to show you some of those things today. And then you need to have three results from LinkedIn in order to know that you're getting an ROI. Number one is you need to know that you're getting exposure regularly. Number two is you need to know that you're building trust with the people that you need to be buying from you or referring to you. And then you need to be booking meetings. That's ultimately the, the measure of success. If you don't have five meetings a day, if your goal is to sell, if your goal is to, to get clients and you're not booking five meetings a day, then you're probably leaving something on the table. For some people, their, their goal is one meeting a day. That's fine. But at least making sure that you are hitting your goals. I always say, if you speak to a thousand people a year, you're going to make enough money to live a very good life. And a thousand people a year is a big, big number for some people. But if you just boil it down to a daily thing, it's just five people a day, 20 people a week, 80 people a month. That's a thousand people a year. If you can't make a very good living by having a thousand conversations a year, then maybe you should really think about the type of people that you're speaking to and change your target market and change your strategy completely. But with the right strategy, anybody can make a very, very good living and have a very good business with a thousand people in their life, a thousand of the right people. A thousand is a big number. I, I've recently been thinking a lot about the thousand number because a thousand is a really big number, but it's really attainable. The average CEO has 930 connections on LinkedIn. So if you have a thousand, you're above average. By the way, how many connections do you have on LinkedIn? I'm going to check to show you how you can see what your connections are. I'm going to pull up my LinkedIn right here in front of you guys, just to kind of show you. If you click on home on the top, takes you to LinkedIn's home, and then you click on my network. And then on the left side, you click on manage my network and you click on connections, you'll be able to see how many connections you actually have on LinkedIn. So if you have thousands of connections, you definitely can add more connections because the limit is 30,000. You can see I have 29,995, you see that? If I have a lot of connections, 
I recently decided I'm going to take all my Davids and I'm going to send them a Happy New Year's message. I have a lot of Davids. I have about 500 Davids I'm connected to. I see David is smiling. <laughs> when they, um, but I decided I'm going to send them all a Happy New Year's message. So <clears throat> that's 500 messages. Like You go there. Hey, David, hope you're well. I wanted to wish you a happy and sweet New Year. Um, and he replied, hey, David, hope you are well. Wanted to wish you a happy and sweet New Year. May your dreams come true this year. You see that? Hey, David. And I just keep sending the same Hey, David message to all my David. So that's a quick way for you to be able to send messages to people without loading their profiles. The problem with LinkedIn, just so you guys know, hack, hack alert. <laughs> if you guys like hacks, just write hack in the chat. The problem with LinkedIn is if you load too many profiles, they will ban you because they think you're spamming them. LinkedIn doesn't like when you load a profile. So the max profiles you can load a day is 150. You do more than 150, they're going to flag your account. They're going to rate limit you. They're going to they're going to slow your account down. Okay, so whenever I load a lot of profiles, automatically my account gets really slow to a crawl. And I start getting these 429 errors. I can load thousands of profiles. I have tools that allow me to load profiles. So if you want to hack to send hundreds of messages a day, and the max messages I ever sent in one day was a thousand. So if you want the hack to send hundreds of messages a day, the answer is using the my network recent connections thing. So that's the hack right over here. So if you go through here and you type in anybody's name, for example, Sarah, I'm going to search Sarah right now. It's going to load up all the Sarahs that you're connected to. You see all these Sarahs? So if I want to message all these Sarahs, I can quickly message all these Sarahs right over here. And I don't have to load their profiles. I could just do it from here. I didn't load their profile. I click on message. It pops open a message with Sarah. And I'm going to say, hey, Sarah, wanted to wish you a happy new year. May you be blessed with lots of happiness and prosperity. Okay, now what I'm going to do is instead of doing it this way, I'm going to have Evie AI write the message for me. I'm going to hit generate because I misspelled the whole message. Okay. And it's going to write the message. Okay. Wishing you a happy new year, Sarah. May this bring abundant happiness. I look forward to blah, blah, blah. You see that? So that's beautiful. I'm going to copy that. I look forward to seeing all things you accomplish in the coming year. Okay. I'm going to delete this. Hi, Sarah here. I'm going to copy this message. So I don't have to regenerate it every time, but do you see every AI generated the message for me? I didn't have to do it. Okay, I'm going to copy that message. And now I can quickly send this message to all the Sarah's I have that I'm connected to just like that. You see, I can just go one after another and hit this message button and it'll just load and I won't have to load their profile because if you load their profile, LinkedIn's going to slap you on the wrist. So, Somebody recently told me, he said, Joe, I'm not getting results from LinkedIn. And I said, how many messages are you sending a day? He said, she said three. And I laughed. And I said, it's not that you're not getting results, is that you're not even trying. Like three messages, really? Three, you're sending three messages? You have 5,000 connections and you send three messages? You know how long it'll take you to go through all your connections? Like 17 years. You're never going to get through your connections. You need to... You need to try to rinse through all your connections at least once a year. Like, what's the point of having a connection if you're not going to touch base with the connection? Did you know that you have the ability to send somebody a happy birthday message every single birthday, every time they have a birthday? And you can send them a happy birthday message even if they don't have a birthday. Have you ever tried that? Go to a random connection, say happy birthday, and see what happens. They're going to be like, it's not my birthday. And be like, what do you mean? It's not your birthday. Oh my gosh, it's not your birthday. You're right. When is your birthday? Let me put it in my CRM. Chances are they're not even going to reply to you or they're going to see it sometime after their birthday. They're not even going to know when you, when you sent it to them. It's not going to matter. The key is communicating with people and having a reason to communicate with them. People need to remember that you exist and they only remember that you exist if you do activities on their profile. So what are some activities that you could be doing on their profile? Commenting on their posts. If you see, if for example, I'm going to load Sarah's profile over here and I see that Sarah posted on LinkedIn 21 hours ago. Check this out. She has a post on LinkedIn. 30, 20 people commented. Uh, only one person commented that said, me, 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 me. You see that? Only one person commented. So if I want to be top of mind with this Harvard grad who was the president of EO Brooklyn, who I have a great relationship with, all I got to do is just leave a comment. I use Evie AI. It takes me a second to do. 
And so I just drop a comment on her post. Sounds like an amazing opportunity. Your expert vision is invaluable. I, I'd love to hear more about this type of projects you're taking on this season. And yes, New York City Autumn is truly behold. Let's reconnect. And then I tag her so she gets a notification. And look at this. Do you see that? I just tagged her in the message. She got a notification. It's called a mention. And also I stay top of mind with her. But guess who else I stay top of mind with? These 21 people, they got notified that I commented. Do you see that? So this is a powerful way to stay top of mind with business leaders or with your target market. Most people don't do this. Most people never do this. I have a dashboard that I keep with all of my connections. I call it a LinkedIn Connections Dashboard. Have you guys heard of a dashboard? Do you have a dashboard or do you need a dashboard? Let me know in the chat. I know da um, Dana, you mentioned you have a spreadsheet. That's great. That's why I thought about this. But I created a little page and we're going to be offering dashboards as part of EVAI Pro at some point in the future. We're going to have a professional version of EVAI. But for right now, you guys can create your own dashboard. I made a little page here as my gift to be able to teach you how to create a dashboard. Um, but you know, you just drop your file in here and then I'll make you a dashboard for you for free. No charge for this. Um, we will eventually imp be importing these connections into EVAI when we launch the designs that we just did. Um, but for now, you can just easily watch this video when you get a chance, bookmark this, and then boom, there you go. You have a dashboard. You'll, you'll get a dashboard. So if you need one, just let me know. I'm happy to help you with one. I'll just quickly show you what my dashboard looks like. So this, these are my connections over here. So if I want to see all the people that, for example, are named Mark, I'm going to clear out all this. I'm going to hit Mark. I'm going to type in Mark. I'm going to hit select all. I'm going to press go. And anyone that has the word Mark on their connections loads up in my spreadsheet here. So this is even faster, even faster than than the my connection, searching through my connection, my network, right? Because it's on a spreadsheet. It's available instantly and LinkedIn doesn't care. Now, I also enrich these to identify how many employees each one of my connections have here. I used AI to help me enrich, find their um, their photo, their logo, their company name, when they started their company, their address, their phone number, all this information about them. Everything I could find on them, I was able to do for my 30,000 connections using AI. But think about it. If, you wanna, if I want to load any of these and I don't want to do a profile view, by the way, what I can do is instead of clicking on their name here, Another hack is you copy their name, you go into LinkedIn, you click on where it says my network, and then if you want to message them without loading their profile, you click on connections, and you search by name, just like that. You see that? And now I can message him without loading his profile. You know how I learned this? You know how I learned how to do this? You want me to, you want me to tell you? I've been studying this new automation program. Now, I'm not a big fan of automation in general because it's against LinkedIn's term. So I have to say, don't use automation. <laughs> but if you want to use automation and you have a LinkedIn Sales Navigator account, there are a few automation tools you can use. One of them is called Linked Helper. I'm just saying, disclaimer, I don't recommend it. <laughs> but if you want to learn how to use it, I do teach how to use it because I've been messing with it. Um, so if you do want to learn how to use it, just write, I want to learn in the chat. Um, this this tool, Linked Helper, allows you to be able to automate parts of LinkedIn that um, that there's no other tool that will allow you to automate those things. Like this is just a, a very powerful, powerful tool, and it does take it does take a, there is a learning curve to learning it, but essentially it sits on your computer and does things for you that normally you would have to do manually. It does it as if it's a human. Um, do you want to make this a master machine? Why not make this a master machine? Um, it does it as if you're a human. And it, it'll it just, it'll just act like it's you and it'll do a bunch of things for you, whatever it is. Like, you know, I use it a lot to like collect people's information from LinkedIn. Um, like I'm, I'm messaging sales trainers on, on, um, on LinkedIn. So I messaged, you know, I, I have hundred, uh, 143 sales trainer that I can message over here. I could send them all messages and it kind of just loads them all really quickly. And it, it doesn't, it allows me to also to export these lists to spreadsheets. There's a lot that it can do. I, I don't have the bandwidth now to teach you how to use this, but we do have a community where I meet with the community six times a month and we teach how to use tools like this, like automation tools like this. 
So if you want to learn how to do it, just write, I want to learn in the chat and I'll share the link for the people that want to learn. Um, again, but th this is like a behind the scenes thing that I wouldn't want to like promote. I wouldn't want to tell people about this. So don't spread the word about this because I don't want, I don't want it to get ruined. But this tool does things in certain ways that allows you to like do behind the scenes hacks that doesn't raise flags with LinkedIn. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like the key is don't bother LinkedIn too much. Don't poke the elephant. <laughs> don't load too many profiles, but you can message a lot of people, but just do it in a way that doesn't trigger alarms with LinkedIn. That's the key. Doing things in a way that doesn't trigger alarms is key. So if you need a dashboard, somebody said I need a dashboard, just go to strategy.evai.com slash dashboard and I'll have AI make you a dashboard. And so I'll, I'm happy to, to have AI make you one and I'll give you access to it. No charge for that. Uh, but the AI automation community on school, that one, we, there is a monthly charge for that. A couple of people said they're interested in it. So I'll just quickly share. It's uh, school.com slash AI automation. It's $97 a month to become part of that. And we have lots of trainings there and we meet six times a month there. So um, if you want to become part of that, you are welcome to be my guest and join as part of that. It's a small community. There's not a lot of people in there. So you get a lot of attention. Okay. And I did that for people that want to learn AI automation and LinkedIn automation specifically. And if you want to see an example class, you can go here and click on the videos for free and check out these two example classes. One is for co-working and one is for training. So we do weekly co-working and we do twice a month trainings. Okay, moving on, let's get into LinkedIn a little bit. A lot of people don't realize the power of posting on LinkedIn. Think about the last time you posted on LinkedIn. Like, did you get results from that post? Most of the time, people think, oh, I didn't get calls from the post. No one's calling you from a post. That's not what the point of a post is. The point of a post is for you to be able to have people view you. So if you have 100 people, if you post something on LinkedIn and 100 people view your post, that's pretty powerful. That's my opinion. My opinion is if 100 people view your post on LinkedIn, that's powerful. Now, the question is, did you promote your post? People post on LinkedIn and they don't promote it. Click on the link. Click on the post below that I just posted. Click on the post below um, and go ahead and give it a like and leave a comment on that post. Let me know who your target market is. And in the comments over here, I'm going to say, who is your target market? market. Okay. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to post this comment here. So go ahead and leave a comment on the post that I posted two hours ago that 151 people saw the video. This is a short little video. I'll play it for you real quick. Watch this. Ways to train AI to leave better comments. We're going to be using a tool called Evy AI. It's a LinkedIn AI content assistant that will help you be able to leverage LinkedIn. You want to make sure that you create personas. So the first one is going to be a role specific persona. I'm going to click on the little comment box here. I'm going to select a role called the CEO of Ajax Union. Now this is this be, being able to create short little videos on LinkedIn is a game changer because LinkedIn has a new feature on the mobile app. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if you go to the bottom of the mobile app, pull out your phone, go to the bottom of the mobile app, you'll see a little video tab. Maybe you didn't notice it. Most people have not noticed that, but there's a video tab and that video tab shows, shows short videos. Those short videos on YouTube are called shorts. On Instagram, they're called reels. On TikTok, they're just videos. Um, so Twitter, TikTok, uh, Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels, and now LinkedIn has now introduced this. And so if you go there, you could swipe up and just go through all the videos there. If you want to be included in those videos, you got to make a video that is in this shape, the shape of the Reel. And in order to do that, you can easily do it using a tool called Opus Pro. Opus allows you to take any YouTube video and turn it into clips like this. Have you guys heard of Opus? U-P-O-S? I'll, I'll quickly show you how that works. Opus.pro. You can create a free account, drop any YouTube video in there. And that YouTube video or any video of you talking. So I recently did a talk on how to use AI for CEOs in Vegas. And let me see why this is not loading over here. Waiting for it to load. Okay, that's telling me to sign in again. I'm going to sign in with Joe at Um, Yeah, so I go in here. This is my... This is my Las Vegas um, speech that I gave. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to grab this video. 
um, how to boost visibility. So it's just uh, yesterday, and every single time I post on LinkedIn, I get hundreds of people to see the stuff that I posted. So for example, I posted this video over here. Let me see, I'm gonna refresh this video. So it's in 46 minutes, it got 72 views. In the past day, it got 379 views. So 300. Okay, so now I'm gonna download this video. So it took, it took a 38 minute video that I uploaded and it made it into little clips. I just downloaded the video. So it's just, uh, yes. It added captions and everything. Now I'm gonna take that 30 second video and I'm gonna write a post with Evie AI. So I'm gonna go into Evie AI to create a post. I'm gonna click on the post writer. I'm gonna paste in the content from that video because the content you get from the video is just a transcript. It's not the actual, it's not a good post. You know what I mean? You want a hook, you want main points, you want a call to action, you want hashtags. So if you go to the post writer with Evie AI, able to create a post. Ever wondered how a simple post can transform your presence? Yesterday I shared a post in a 46 minute garner 72 views. Okay, so now I'm gonna press copy. I'm gonna go to LinkedIn. I'll teach you how to create a post. For those of you that don't know how to post, you go to the homepage of LinkedIn, you click on media. I add that Opus Pro clip. I press next. I paste in the content from Evie AI. You see that? Leveraging tools. What's one strategy you found effective on LinkedIn? Share your thoughts in the comments. And I'm gonna say, when was the last time when was the last time you posted a video on LinkedIn? Okay, I'm gonna hit post. And I just posted a video on LinkedIn. How long, in the chat, tell me, how long did it take me to take a video, a 30 second clip, to create the post with a hook, main points, call to action and hashtags, and then post that video on LinkedIn and even customize the post just a little bit just a few minutes because I had to log in, I had to grab a video and I have so many videos that are in there already. And those videos were edited themselves. So I just watch the video, make sure it makes sense, copy the transcript of the video, drop it into Evie AI, 30 second of the transcript, converts the content, upload it, and then boom, I have a video done. And I can schedule those into the future as well inside Opus, or there are other tools, other scheduling tools that I like to use. I have one called Unlimited digitalmarketing.com, which includes a CRM and much more. But look at this video. I just published this video now. You guys can check it out on your own computer. I just shared it in the Zoom chat. You can like on it and comment on it. So this way you network with all the other people that are here in this in this training session. And I just wanna take a moment and let you know that if, if you post on LinkedIn once a day, you don't have to post a thousand times a day. Some people are posting a thousand times a day. I'll post three times a day often. Every couple of hours, I'll post something of value. Maybe I'll, I'll go on live one time. That's a post. Maybe I'll share a video. Maybe I'll share a text post. Maybe I'll share a poll. And I'm going to talk about the difference between an article and a post in just a second and the power of an article. But I just want you to know the power of a post. If you post once a day on LinkedIn, every day you get a chance to show up on the feed. Now, somebody, somebody might say, well, it's too much to post on LinkedIn every day. Well, I'm telling you that people only see it when they go to the feed. You get what I'm saying? It's not like you're sending it as an email to somebody every day. You're not bothering people. You're showing up on the feed. Now, some people get annoyed if they see you too much. Those people should not be following you. If they get annoyed from seeing you once a day, they shouldn't be following you. They should unfollow you because you're annoying them. Your presence annoys them. You want to be in front of people that your presence inspires them. You want to be in front of your lovers, not your haters. So I want you to really think about that and consider that when you're posting on LinkedIn, you're posting for your lovers, for your lurkers, for the people that actually want to see you. And so once a day is acceptable. If you can't post once a day, post once a week, post twice a week, post once a month. Most people never post at all. And it's such a shame that the waste of followers, every connection becomes a follower. Did you know that every connection becomes a follower? If you add a connection on LinkedIn, and you can add up to 100 connections. You can send 100 connection requests per week on LinkedIn. If you add connections on LinkedIn, every one of those connections become a follower. There's no other platform that allows you to have this. Zero. Alex Hermosi said that every follower on LinkedIn is worth 10 times that of on Instagram. So if you have 100,000 followers on LinkedIn or 10,000 or even 1,000 or even 100 followers on LinkedIn, they're 10 times the value of Instagram. Why? Because every person on LinkedIn, you see their first name. Imagine you're targeting CEOs to join your Vistage group, like Mark Taylor. And by the way, any CEOs over here, make sure you notice Mark Taylor, set up a one-on-one -on -one with him and learn about his Vistage group. He has several Vistage groups. He's the number one Vistage coach in the world. So you really want to get to know him. You want to follow him, check out his content, and make sure you see what he's up to. 
But if you're a CEO of a company, whether you're doing a million or you're doing a hundred million, make sure you pay attention to Mark Taylor. What I want you guys to know is if you're, let's say, for example, a coach or you're a consultant or you're a business owner and you are connecting with somebody on LinkedIn, they then become your follower, but you know who your follower is. You know their first name, their last name, their company name, where they work, where they worked before, where they went to school, the mutual connections that will walk you into the door to that person, their cell phone number, their email address, their website, everything you can think about is available on LinkedIn. When I connect with someone on Instagram, I follow someone, they're not automatically following me back and I'm following Big Betty 2473. That's not helpful. I don't know who that person is. Who's Big Betty 2473? I have no idea if they're even real. They say that most Instagram accounts are fake accounts. There's 500 million Instagram accounts that log in every day, but there are people that have Instagram farms. You know that? Have you ever seen an Instagram farm? They have an entire wall with a thousand phones and they have one person controlling those 1,000 phones to like and comment on things automatically. They have farms like that. People in China, people in, in, in Asia and in other countries, they have farms that are, that are controlling the algorithm. And so a lot of it's garbage, a lot of it's fake. But on LinkedIn, when I see a verified account, when I see Mark Taylor, I know it's Mark Taylor. I see it's verified with his government ID. I see who he is. I see who he's connected to. I see who's commenting on his post. And when I pick up the phone and call his cell phone, he picks up the phone and we have a conversation. That's, that's a real relationship. So every connection on LinkedIn is a real person. You see their recommendations. You know what I mean? It's, it's like real. It's like business. It's like we're ready to do, but let's go do some business. Let's help each other. Let's make a difference. So LinkedIn is, is very, very powerful. And so what I would say is, don't go, don't go crazy with like worrying about the algorithm so much. If you haven't been posting, just start posting. Somebody said, Joe, is two, every two to three hours too much? The top influencers on LinkedIn, like Gary Vaynerchuk or whatever, they're posting every three hours. That's what they're doing. You know, they're if you look at their posts and I'm analyzing their posts, and if you want to analyze somebody's posts, I'm going to teach you how to do that right now. I actually use Claude. And every month I teach people how to use AI tools to create other tools. I have something called the AI circle. We meet once a month for three hours and people that are in it are just, their mind is blown every time I teach them something. Um, but I created something called marketinginspector.com. And if you go to marketinginspector.com, I had AI come up with the name. I can take anybody's post. For example, I'll pull up Mark Taylor's profile real quick because we have him as an example here. Mark Taylor, T-A-Y. Okay, he's the New York City Master Chair. I'm going to pull him up, pull up his profile right here. He has 10,000 followers on LinkedIn, about, just about, just under 10,000. Mark, you can get over the 10,000 mark. All we need to do is set up a bot to automatically connect with all the CEOs on the Inc. 5000 this year, and then you're good to go. You'll get over that mark. <laughs> um, and we could talk about that if you'd like. But check this out. I'm going to put his LinkedIn URL in here, and I'm going to have AI just analyze his posts real quick. And so again, this entire application was created with one prompt using AI. Okay, I created this entire app and you guys can use this and check it out and try it out. And it, I don't know, it just works. It created a chart. It showed me his most popular posts. I can sort it by posts that have the most likes, the most comments, the most reactions. I can copy his most popular posts, throw it into Evy AI and rewrite it. <laughs> I can click on view posts and it'll show me the most recent post, the, the po that actual post. Look at that. Him and Norma Rosenberg, which I love very much. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to like this post here, and I'm going to drop a comment. You see Jack Daly, all these like really popular, successful people in the network are commenting on this. And Norma's journey is truly inspiring, Mark. Her ability to transform lives through deep listening is a testament to the power of effective leadership. Honored, honored to know Norma for over a decade. Okay. Now, it took me a while. It took me much longer for me to write this sentence than for me to write the paragraph with Evie AI. But that little, that little sentence really just kind of nailed the, the whole comment together and made it really more, even more authentic. So I do recommend you guys spending as much time as it takes AI to generate the thing. Just take time to edit it just a little bit, at least that much time. You know, if it's three seconds, five seconds, whatever. But read it and edit it. But do you see, I just left a comment on his most popular post from three weeks ago. The way that I found his most popular post is I use an AI tool that allowed me to just quickly grab his last 50 posts. And by the way, that AI tool will allow me to also download all those posts as a comma separated values file. You see that right here? 
a CSV file. So if I press download a CSV, boom, I just downloaded all his posts as a spreadsheet. I can now take that entire spreadsheet and really dig in and get to know who he is. And, and I can even send that spreadsheet to AI. So I can take the entire spreadsheet, copy the entire thing, drop it into AI, and tell me what is his tone. You want to see that? I'll do that right now. <laughs> this is so much fun. Um, I'm going to drop his entire spreadsheet of his last 50 posts. Please review these 50 posts by Mark Taylor and tell me his voice, tone, and preferred phrases. Okay, I'm going to paste it and I'm going to hit go. It's going to analyze your last 50 posts and it's going to tell me your, your, your voice, your tone, and your preferred phrases. And then what I can do is I can turn all your posts into tweets. Authoritative, encouraging, reflective, community-oriented, oriented, passionate, positive and optimistic. Look at that. Preferred phrases. Now what I'm going to say is turn those 50 posts into 50 tweets. <laughs> He's going to be like, what the hell? Make it into 50 scripts. Make it into like whatever. Like you could literally do whatever you want once you have the data and if you learn how to use these tools, it'll just kind of blow your mind what you can do with this. So this is like the hack. Um, so I, I just want you guys to know that you don't have to go crazy with LinkedIn. Literally just set a goal to post once a day. Once a day. Just once a day post on LinkedIn. Make it a commitment. If you can't do once a day, do once a week. If you can't do once a week, do once a month. Do 12 times a year. That's number one. Number two, the second thing that I would recommend doing is leave five comments a day. If you want to be aggressive, leave 30 comments a day. But the minimum is five comments a day. If you can't, if you have five fingers, some people have four fingers. Some people only have one finger and it's the middle finger. But if you have five fingers, leave five comments. If you have 10 fingers, leave 10 comments. If you have five fingers and five toes, leave 20. But leave comments and leave it strategically. I don't just leave comments randomly. What I do is I save specific people's profiles into Evy AI. I have very specific people that I want to stay top of mind with. Don't you? Don't you have your top 10 potential clients? Don't you have your list of networking people? Like if you're part of the executives association, which I'm part of an association, and I recommend you join associations, don't you want to, to like stay top of mind with specific people in your association? Ryan Spear owns a travel agency. Ryan Spear is a referral partner for me. I want to make sure that every single time he posts, I comment. Look at this from two weeks ago. I commented on his post. How did I know to comment on his post? It's because I saved him to Evy AI in this place here. So I will actually go through this once a week and I will identify did Derek Power post or did he not post? If he posted, which I think he did one day ago, I haven't touched it yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to comment on Derek Power's post from a day ago. You see that? And now I can comment on his post. Bam. Bam. It's inspiring to see you honoring such heroes in such a meaningful way. You see that? And the only reason I knew to do that is because I saved it into Evy AI. Literally having a routine is just, is hard if you have ADD, Matthew said, but let me tell you something. If you get an accountability partner, this is what I found. And trust me, I know what ADD is about. Sweetie, I'm in the middle of doing a presentation. Can, can, you, can you come back in like 30 minutes? Or do you want to sit here on my lap? Okay, my daughter wants to join us here. So she's going to be joining us for this for this presentation. <laughs> we have my daughter over here on my lap. Okay, so what I want to tell you is I have, I have a hard time with paying attention to things. I do. I have a hard time paying attention. And oftentimes I'll get carried away. When I have somebody watching me, I have a certain level of accountability that helps me be able to get things done. It's like a weird thing when you have someone over your shoulder watching you or somebody that you're working with. I would recommend getting an accountability partner, somebody that will do activity with you. Even if you're on the computer with them at the same time, it could be an assistant, it could be a client, it could be a friend, or it could be somebody in the community. If you want to be able to be more successful, you need to have accountability. Accountability simply means the ability to account. The ability to count. So if, you, if you're counting with someone, you have accountability with someone, you're much more likely to be successful. And for me, what I want to do is I want to be able to build a community of people that want to support each other. That's my goal. My goal is put together a small community of people that are actually engaged on LinkedIn. Let me tell you something. If you look at your Google contacts or whatever, wherever you keep your contacts, most of your contacts are not engaged on LinkedIn. 
That's just the reality of it. Most people are not engaged on LinkedIn, but there's 60 million people logging in for more than 17 minutes a day and using LinkedIn that are active. Out of the billion people, 60 million people log in every day and spend 17 minutes a day plus. So there are people that are active on the platform and many of them have a tremendous amount of influence. Some of them are coaches, consultants, CEOs, trainers, billionaires, millionaires, thousand ears, dollar ears. I don't even know if dollar ears is a word, but if somebody has a dollar, maybe they're a dollar ear. My point is, I want you to find your community, find your people, your 20, 30, 40, your 10 people, or even your one person and meet with them on a regular basis. So building that relationship is key. Let me show you something that I did recently. Here's a moneymaker for LinkedIn. If you guys want to see a moneymaker, put a dollar sign in the chat. I'm going to show you a moneymaker for LinkedIn. If you go click on the me button on top and you click on where it says posts and activity, you'll be able to see all of your own posts and activities. There's a few ways to get there, but that's one way that you may have not known of. If you scroll down through my posts, and I do recommend you look at my posts later, I have some place where you can actually advertise yourself. And I recommend all of you put your elevator pitch in there. Um, I'll put the I'll put the link in the chat to that particular post. And I love the dollar signs flying in. So thank you for en engaging with me. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to show you a poll. Okay, so most people have never posted a poll on LinkedIn. By the way, have you ever posted a poll on LinkedIn? Just write yes or never in the chat. I'm curious to know if you did it or you never did it. Write yes or never. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I just shared a poll. Guys, look at that poll. If there's one thing that you can take from this presentation, besides posting, engaging, and messaging, is the concept of the poll. The poll, in other words, the survey, is not something that just gets filled out on its own. You can't just put up a poll and hope for the best. Hope is a great thing. It's not a great strategy. If you want 37 votes on your poll or 100 votes on your poll or 1,000 votes on your poll or three votes on your poll, I want to encourage you to promote the poll. You don't just post a poll and hope that people will join the poll. You write a poll and then you send the poll to people. You can send a poll via email, via direct message, via telegram. You can copy it, put it on a QR code, post it on your forehead as a tattoo, whatever you want to do but make sure that people get that poll. Now, a poll is really easy for people to fill out because all they have to do is click yes or no, or click I'm interested or I'm not interested. Now, what do you think this poll does for me? Why do you think I publish polls? Because when I publish a poll, I see who voted. Nobody else can see who voted. I can see who voted. So I have a list of people that voted on this poll that are interested in learning how to use LinkedIn. Now, not everybody saw this poll, but 1,626 people saw this poll and 37 voted. And out of those 37 people, 95% said they're interested in learning LinkedIn from a, dozen LinkedIn from a dozen LinkedIn trainers. So if I decide to launch this community, which I'd like to launch a community where I have a dozen LinkedIn trainers teaching how to use LinkedIn at a very, very affordable rate, a couple dollars a month, what will happen is I will have my first few dozen people that would join that community because of this poll, which will spark the community. You guys get what I'm saying? When I launched Evy AI, before I launched Evy AI, I called it something else. I didn't know what to call it, but so I just called it some random name. And then I po published a poll and several hundred people said they would pay for it. And then what I did was I got a hundred people to pay from the people that voted in the poll. A hundred people paid for an application that I didn't yet develop because of a poll. I did this five years ago when I launched my goal setting masterclass when I was teaching people how to set and achieve their goals in life. I was into personal development and I was obsessed with it and I was too afraid to create a course on how to use LinkedIn five years ago. So I created a course on how to do your goals. I was like, that I mastered. I mastered setting and achieving goals. So, but the way that I did that is I first surveyed an audience. The survey is an easy way for you to determine if people are interested or not interested in a particular product or service. But you can't just hope that somebody will fill out your poll. That's a big mistake that people make. They set a poll up and then they just wait. You don't just wait. What you do is gotta do is you gotta click on the three dots, like I do over here. I'm gonna click on these three dots, hit copy link to post, and then paste the link wherever 
people are. Now, if you paste it in a DM, check this out. If I go here and I go into my DM and I paste this into the DM like this, what ends up happening is the poll loads in the DM. And then what, what ends up happening is people can vote inside that DM. Isn't that cool that you can vote inside the DM just like that? Now, what I also do is I also add hashtags to my polls. And so if you search hashtag mojo polls, you will find all of my previous polls. Okay, hashtag mojo polls. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you all of my previous polls. You see all these polls? Now, some of them have 100 votes. Pick it up. Some of them have 100 votes. Some of them have 70 votes. But these polls are things that I can later go back to and still get leads. You get what I'm saying? I can go back to people that want to join this community if I need more community members and go back to this one. I can focus on sending people a celebration, a thing that says, may you, be, may, may you have a lot of wealth, may you have a lot of health, may you have a lot of relationships. I can start conversations with all these people based on the things that they voted. How often do you post on LinkedIn? Now I have people that post daily, weekly, once in a while, and I have people that post never. And I can start conversations with people based on the polls. So if you guys want to create a poll, it's really easy for you to come up with an idea for a poll or a poll. You just go to a post writer and every AI. You click on goal would be to create a poll. You see that? You can have the tone of the poll and you can say, and metaphorical. And then you could say something like, do you want to learn AI automation or, or is it over your head? Okay, I'm going to hit generate, and it's going to create the content for the poll. You get what I'm saying? So you don't even have to write the whole poll anymore. You could have AI even draft for you the entire poll. I'm eager to learn. I find AI automation complex. I'm not there. I'm not sure. You get what I'm saying? You don't have to actually come up with the poll yourself. You can have every AI write you the whole poll. But the point is, at least once a month, write a poll. Or once a week, write a poll. I, I try to do a poll every Tuesday. That's my goal. So um, I did a poll this week. It expires in a little bit. And next week, I'll do another poll. And another poll. And then another poll. And, and if you do this for a year, you'll have 52 polls. But again, don't just create a poll and hope for the best. Create a poll and then promote it. Okay, let me let me show you something else that I, that I do all here. On LinkedIn, there's a concept called articles. By the way, is this too much for you or is this good? In the chat, let me know, right? Too much or good? Because I could stop teaching now and just take questions or I can keep teaching if you want. Um, Marlene said, good. This is great. This is awesome. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, because I, I can keep going for many, many hours. I did a, actually a training session called the LinkedIn Accelerator Training and I went like this for six hours and I taught 52 different hacks. <laughs> and I have the replay available and it's on sale at evergreen, E-V-Y-R, green.com. Let's see where it is. I don't even know if we have it for, I think we have a sale on it now. Here's the LinkedIn Accelerator replay. It's $2,000 off. So if you guys want to catch the replay and catch a whole course, we have it available for sale right here. I don't know if you guys are interested in it, but you are. if you are, you can go in here and grab the deal. I put it in the chat. Um, it's six hours of me just kind of going on and on and on about all the all 52 different hacks. Okay. I can't do all 52 hacks today. Um, and a lot of the things I shared today, I didn't even share inside the training over there, but there's a lot of really, really cool things that I, that I can share. And somebody said, Joe, can you show us that poll again? Sure. I'll, I'll post the poll again. Hang on a second. Let me find it. Let me see if I could find that poll. Um, let me see if I could load it. Okay. Here it is. Okay, so here are the things that I would want to teach people. I want to teach how to optimize your profile, how to get engagement on posts, how to post consistently, um, direct messaging, prospecting with Sales Navigator, building and growing a newsletter, LinkedIn Live strategy, leveraging LinkedIn search, profitable advertising strategy, maximizing company pages, LinkedIn event strategy, and using video on LinkedIn. Those are the 12 things that I would want these 12 trainers to teach and each one of these would go deep into each one of those items. By the way, which one of these are you are you most curious about? Let me know in the chat. Posting, engaging, messaging, LinkedIn Live. Which one do you are you most interested in right now? If you could learn one of these, 
which one would you want to go deep in? Is it video? Is it events? Is it company pages? Is it advertising? Is it search? Is it live? Is it engagement? Is it prospecting? Like, tell me which one. It doesn't really matter, but just tell me which one so that you know for yourself, you set yourself a goal to learn one of these elements. Because a lot of people don't even know what elements there are to learn. I actually created, I'm going to get to the article in a second, but I just created a Miro board. Have you guys heard of Miro? Miro is like a visualizing diagram tool. I'm going to accept all cookies. I'm going to hit log in. I'm going to use my Google to log in. I'm going to log in with Joe at ajaxinian.com. Okay, so I created a mind, a LinkedIn mind map. And you guys can have access to this LinkedIn mind map if you want the mind map. This is These are all the topics that I speak on. So this is my 555 framework. If you Google 555 framework, let me see what happens. 555 framework. I'm just going to Google it. What comes up first? Guys, do you see what comes up first for the 555 framework? A LinkedIn article. Do you see that? Why did this LinkedIn article come up first and my YouTube video come up second? Because I'm the gosh darn man. No, just kidding. It's because LinkedIn articles rank on Google really, really, really well. So if you if you want to create a LinkedIn article, consider that it's going to rank on Google really well. So I just shared the 555 framework. And you guys can go through this whole framework and get the mind map and everything and create your own 555 framework from this framework. But do you see I have 13,000 subscribers to my newsletter? A newsletter, a LinkedIn newsletter is the ability for you to send emails through LinkedIn to your connections. So people subscribe to your newsletter, you write an article and a post, and it kind of all puts it all together. It's a really powerful tool. But articles, even standalone articles, are really powerful on LinkedIn. You can have up to 40,000 words in an article. You can embed videos, images. You could put links in an article. There's a lot that you can do in an article. And it's very, very SEO friendly. Um, uh, so an article includes both a post and a, a newsletter includes both a post, an article, and an email. So LinkedIn will automate. So if I post a new frustration to motivation uh, article, so this is a newsletter article. I have 62, 67 new subscribers in the past seven days. This is the last one that I did. Being frustrated means you care. This is the last one that I did over here. I wrote this thing over here. And I put a video in there as well. And people got this email. 13,000 people got the email when I posted it. It was 12,000 and change. Now it's 13,555. But you see people keep joining my newsletter and LinkedIn automatically uh, invites people to join my newsletter. And so I'm going to be posting a newsletter probably on Sunday. I'll probably post another newsletter. And, um, and I'll post newsletters regularly. And I posted so many newsletters. So you could see all my newsletters here. You see that? And I actually launched a new newsletter. So if you want to see all my newsletters, go to my profile. And then you'll see under activity, you'll see uh, articles and newsletters. There's a, like a little sort thing. You see what I'm here? There's posts, comments, videos, images, articles, newsletters. So an article is a standalone article. An, a newsletter is an article that belongs to a particular newsletter. So I created a new newsletter called an AI automation newsletter a few weeks ago. And 4,959 people subscribe to it. The Frustration to Motivation newsletter, and by the way, you can have up to five newsletters per account, per profile. Did you know that? Just write yes or no in the chat if you knew that. Yes, if you knew that already. No, if you did not know that, if that's news to you. Okay, that's powerful because you can have different newsletters for different topics. So for example, a lot of people are interested in AI automation and how AI automation works. I created a separate newsletter that walks people through the step-by-step -step process on how AI automation works with make.com. And then I invite people to join my premium community as well. I have questions and answers. I have automation news. I have example automations. I have the prompt of the week, which by the way, that's my gift to you today. I love giving out gifts. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot. I know it's a lot. For some people, are like, what the hell are you talking about, Joe? This is so. There's so much here. There's so much gold. This this prompt is a powerful prompt. I'm going to show you how to use this prompt right now. With you know, we'll use it with ChatGPT. You could use it with Claude. You could use it with anything. But let me just quickly just copy this entire prompt. It's a big prompt. It's called a mega prompt. I'm going to right click on the prompt, copy it. Okay. Now that I have this prompt, I'm going to go to ChatGPT. So you just go to ChatGPT.com. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the prompt here. You see, I pasted the prompt. Now you can also save this prompt as a template inside Evie AI. 
So if you go to your templates, you click login. On the left side, you click on templates. And um, you could just click on add new template on the right and you can save your prompts here. So I'm gonna go click in here. I'm gonna type in persona, persona creator. And then I'm gonna do prompt as a tag so that I know where my prompts are. And I'll paste this prompt here and hit save. Okay, so now I saved this prompt inside FEAI, so you can save templates inside FEAI for prompts, for whatever you want, okay? So this at least it's saved somewhere. So now I have this prompt saved in FEAI. If I ever need it again, I just go to my templates, I search persona, I open up the template, I copy it and paste it into wherever I wanna paste it into, whether it's ChatGPT or LinkedIn or whatever. So now that I have this persona here, what am I gonna base this, I wanna, what am I gonna base this persona on? Well, I'm going to go back and I'm going to find someone that recently commented on my post, on my most recent post, a random person. Let's see, on this video here, because some of you commented on this video. Um, so I'll find, let's say, for example, let's see, the first person that commented, I'm going to do most recent, Alexander Curtis. I'm going to click on Alexander's profile. See, this is Alexander's profile. I'm going to use a Chrome extension that I created called LinkedIn Profile Saver. <laughs> which grabs all of somebody's information from LinkedIn. I'm going to hit send to CRM. So it saves it in my CRM. Then I'm going to press copy. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste his information from LinkedIn into this chat GPT thing. And now it's going to create an entire persona for his FEAI. Look at that. His name, his industry, his title, his company, his keywords, his professional interests, his achievements. You see that? This will train any AI on who this person is. Now, you guys have seen me do this in the past. This is not new. But the fact that I have it in a newsletter that I sent to thousands of people that any of you can access right on Google is really powerful. So the difference between a post and an article is that a post is hidden from Google. Google doesn't see LinkedIn posts. You get what I'm saying? Google, LinkedIn is a private network. So for example, if I just search Mark, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up an incognito window, control shift N, and I'm gonna search Mark Taylor. So what comes up when I search Mark Taylor? Let's see what comes up. Uh, Instagram comes up, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm gonna search Mark Taylor space Vistage. And you see his Vistage NYC website comes up, his LinkedIn comes up. You see that? When I click on his LinkedIn, it shows me to log in. But if I click off the login page and I just take a look at what is actually being indexed, you see his articles are being indexed, not his posts. You see that? These are articles. You see his articles by Mark. Now you see, also see contributions. You see some of his activity. You see some of his experience, but you don't see his posts here. The reason why uh, LinkedIn does that is because LinkedIn wants to... LinkedIn wants to, I'm going to mute everybody here because I hear some background noise. Sorry, guys. If you want to, if you want to actually say something, unmute yourself, but otherwise I'm, I'm muting you with, with respect and with love. Okay. If you want to be able to see this for yourself, you can actually go see this for yourself and check this out. There is also another page called the, the today page. You guys want to see the today page on LinkedIn? I'm going to show you the today page. So check this out. I'm going to search. You, you, you were explaining why it's showing his articles and then you. Okay. You okay. The reason why it's showing his articles is because uh, LinkedIn doesn't want to give away the secret sauce to Google. They don't want Google to steal all the posts of LinkedIn. That's the secret sauce. They want to keep it reserved for LinkedIn. But the articles they don't care about because articles are really long and it's SEO friendly and it drives traffic. But posts are more private. And so if you want traffic from Google to your profile, then write articles. I like writing an article at least once a month, a valuable article in my industry, like the 555 framework or the AI persona article or whatever. But posts are mainly for your LinkedIn network. Articles are mainly for SEO. You guys get that? Thank okay. you. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no, you're good. You're good. This is helpful. It's helpful to keep me on track because I have kids running around. Hang on a second. What? They just dropped my whole planter. I'll deal with it after. Okay, not a problem. Um, today, LinkedIn, I'm gonna go here. So I go over here and I see, okay, I have an author today page. So I'm gonna click on this in incognito. You cannot see this if you're logged into LinkedIn. You have to only see this in incognito. This is only for people who are not logged in. 
This is a directory of all of my articles. Now you could, I could just switch this to anybody's name. So it's linkedin.com slash today slash author slash your name. And you'll see what Google sees. I like to reverse engineer things so that I learn about how things operate. But if you want to see every single article I've ever posted, look, I'm, I'm loading it. I can literally take every article I've ever posted and you can see I posted hundreds of articles over the years. This is from 2017. Since the day they launched articles, the ability to have articles, I've been posting articles, 2016. Look at that, we're going back to 20, 2015. Okay, 2014, do you see this? So we're talking about a decade of articles here. I have a decade of articles. I'll send you guys a link so you can inspect these articles yourself. Jen said I have to hop, okay. Um, in just a few minutes, I'm going to have to wrap up. Any questions that you guys have about any of this stuff? I would love to. Would you guys want to come again to one of these sessions? I do these sessions on a regular basis. So if you guys want to come again, I'd love to have you. And if you want to join our AI automation community, it's school.com slash AI automation. School.com slash AI dash automation. This is the link. I'd love to have you for those that want to join. And I'm very passionate about helping people use LinkedIn. I've been, I've trained over a thousand companies on how to use LinkedIn. And I personally, I'm not like one of those people that teaches how to do something, but they don't do it themselves. I'm personally entrenched in this every day. I personally log into LinkedIn every day. And so I'm doing this myself. I'm getting on five calls every single day. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Even if I won the lottery, I'd keep doing this. And I love helping people. I believe that the secret to living is giving. Can you link us to the prompt? I can't find it on the LinkedIn page. Um, it's it's right. I'll send. You can send me a DM if you can't find it, but it's it's right on my LinkedIn. So there's another place that you can find that prompt on my LinkedIn. I put it in multiple places. But if you click on my featured posts, you'll see it as a featured post. You just go to the featured section. You click on the right over here. You click on see all featured items, and then you scroll down, and you're going to see it right over here. Want to create a persona for LinkedIn? Here's a persona creator prompt. Okay, I have it right here. So yeah, so I just want to thank all of you. I want to wish all of you a happy new year. Um, I appreciate you guys very much. If you ever need anything, you could always call me. You could always text me. You could always WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp is right on my LinkedIn uh, about section. Feel free to send me a WhatsApp and or send me a LinkedIn message. I try to get to every single message and reply to every single person. Um, if you're currently an Evy AI user and you love Evy AI, if you can leave us a five-star review on the extension, that would go a long way for me. We're looking to get to um, a couple more reviews. So I'll send you a link to the five-star review place where you can leave a five-star review. That would be really cool if you can leave one. If you go to Evy AI on Chrome and you scroll down, you'll notice that we got one from Jane on October 1st. So Jane, thank you so much for leaving one. Um, I gladly left you a five-star review already. Thank you, Murray. That's very kind of you. I appreciate that. So if you guys could leave a five-star review, that'd be awesome. And if you guys need anything else, just let me know what you need. If you want to promote yourself on my page, every month I post a post asking people to promote themselves. So if you scroll down to my recent activity, look through my posts. I go live every day. I post every day. I engage every day. And so if you need me to comment on something, also send it to me. If you want to promote yourself, here's the link to the post where you can promote yourself. Literally, just promote yourself. 600 people saw that. Usually, I get about 1,000 people to see every single post that I post. Not every post gets 1,000. Some of them get 1,500. So on average, I get about 1,000. So set your goals. Make sure that you post regularly. Make sure that you engage regularly. Leave five comments a day. It'll change your life. You'll see, you'll be like, wow, this is crazy. People are noticing me. I'm getting more connection requests. And if you use Evy AI, it makes things faster. Send out 20 to 30 messages every single day to your connections. If you have a thousand connections, if you're sending 20 to 30 messages to your connections, you'll be like, Joe, what types of messages should I send? There's so many different messages you can send, but come to our next session and I'll guide you guys even more. Thank you very much for being here and I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.